him go. I'm taking my wife. You can't stop me. I know the truth, and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It was an accident. You don't know what you're talking about. What? Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. Because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Now get in here and find the man. Sir, you can overload those cryogenerators using your thermal gloves. Look for the control panels. My life will have a cure. And not you, not Boyle, not anyone will stop me from finding it. See how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. Okay. 
make more than that, Batman. How did he escape? Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Then come out of the shadows! My fugitive was killed in that man. He's escaped! I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Yeah. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to go past the trial of oh, Victor! Keep down! Oh, but I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! No! Oh. out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, 
with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see it coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does. But I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night, then? Not yet, Alfred. There's still work to be done. <laughs>